Another week, and you guessed it, there's a particular topic of the day. The Australian Government's new vehicle efficiency standard. We're not standing beside some of our training aids in terms of electric vehicles without any reason. This week, the Commonwealth not only announced their position on the NVES, they yesterday introduced the draft bill. So they're running at speed, if you like. Very pleased that the Motor Trade Association of Australia, all of its state members, including MTA Queensland, AADA, have collaborated really closely and pushed and negotiated very hard. Over 40 meetings with government, with ministers, with bureaucrats. At a state level, we've been meeting with state level ministers, bureaucrats around making sure there was an evidence-based argument to push back on some of the extreme views that were in, in the standard. Yesterday, I was really pleased to be able to facilitate a national meeting of dealers. So dealers across the country came together to be briefed on the outcomes of that. So what is the Commonwealth putting forward? You can see some of those briefings in our newsletter this week, but most importantly, no change to passenger vehicles, it is as they proposed, but significant changes to the categorisation of some vehicles that have been moved out of the passenger vehicle category into light commercial. Things like Land Cruisers, Patrol, Ford Everest, Isuzu MUX. Significant high volume cars, and it means the compliance of those manufacturers is far easier. Make no mistake, as the CEO of Toyota did describe, it's still a challenging, it's still an ambitious goal. By 2029, there's plenty of things to be done. If you've got questions, you've just got to let us know. But really pleased to host that briefing yesterday. And the draft bill, if you're so interested, is available today. In terms of the electric future, no question that this is now going to be sped up. More electric vehicles become available, more hybrids, plug-in hybrids. So your business needs to get ready. We're hosting our next planning session, so a proper session to help you plan for the future, whatever your decision is around electrification, and however soon or later on you propose to engage in electric vehicles, we want to help you plan for that. Skills, infrastructure, just being ready really. So that'll be on the 23rd of April. Have a look at the newsletter. Love you to register. It will be completely online to enable businesses that are spread across Queensland to participate. We'd love you to be involved. See you next week.